life has this path, and it's not by luck or by chance, it's by divine appointments. And the way I met um, Coach Diaz was not by luck, it was by divine appointment. Here I am now here speaking to you guys as him being here, the, the, the coach. But it, it, it all has its its path, and, it's, and the paths that, that we lead are all going to be from a series of choices that, that we make. It's not luck, really. And once you determine and get used to the idea that pretty much whatever happens to you happens because of the choices you make, and, and really, a lot of it comes from the thoughts that you have. Did you ever hear of the quote by uh, that says, "Whatever you, and you think, or whether you think you can or you can't, you're probably right." How many of you have heard of that? Well, all, all that means is the mind. The mind really dictates what really happens to you. And um, and I'll talk about Dan Gable. Well, we've all heard of Dan Gable, and I've wrestled him. And whenever I talk to groups, a lot of people want to had me talk about that story when I had a chance to wrestle him. Um, I met him when I was in 10th grade, and he was, it was in 1972, the summer of 1972, and he went on to be Olympic champion that summer. So I met him in like June, and then in July or August, he went on to win the gold medal in the Olympic Games. Four years later, I was going to wrestle this guy. Think about how that situation was. Here I'm in college, I was 18, and it was a, that was 1976, four years later. So Gable was going to make a comeback to make the Olympic team in 1976. And he entered this college tournament that I was in. And, you know, it was one of those kind of that weird situation where you knew you were going to wrestle this guy that had never lost. But yet I wanted to wrestle him. It was almost like the Vision Quest. We've all watched that movie, right, where, you know, where the guy wants to, wants to wrestle this seemingly unbeatable guy. But he seems confident that he can win. Well, there's times in life we feel that, and I felt that way with, with Gable. And uh, anyway, not to get really into the match, other than to say that you have to believe. You have to dream big and bigger and bigger, and you have to believe. Because in the end, it doesn't really matter, really, right? If you, I mean, it's your dream, it's your goal, and it's your life. So you might as well dream and try to plan for it to be as successful as you can. I, asked, I think I asked a couple of the wrestlers here today, I was working with, what's your goals for next year? And they both said national champions. If they would have said anything less than that, I would have I would have challenged them a little bit. It's your goal, it's your dream. Why not? Do you know what Dan Gable's goal was for his team when he was coaching in Iowa? There was 10 weight classes. I mean, he was already winning, you know, he's won the nationals 15 times. So the guy had been winning so much, people hated him because they won all the time. His goal, he wanted to win. He wanted all 10 of his guys to be national champions in the same year. Is that greedy or what? <laughs> he wants all ten guys to win. That's just his mentality. He just wanted. He just. He dreamed really big. So any of the athletes in the room, all the wrestlers in the room, you know, dream bigger than you possibly than you possibly think you can because it's going to make all the difference. And winning is about feeling like you deserve to win. And uh, show of hands out. Of the people here who've worked jobs, right? Everybody's kind of worked a job, right? Got a paycheck from somebody. Well, what would happen if you worked all day and, you, and it was payday and you went to get paid and your boss said, I'm not going to pay you today. I don't feel like it. I'm just, you know, just come back tomorrow, though, and maybe work another week and I'll try to figure out if I can pay you. Well, how long would that last? How, how, how long would that last? About the first day of It wouldn't last long at all. And why would you feel so strongly about that, right? You feel like you deserve that paycheck because you did the work. Well, when you start to feel like you deserve to win just like that, that's when you'll start winning. But you've got to do the work. You've got to do everything right so that now you feel like you deserve to win more than that guy. And you're not going to you're not going to leave the mat until you get your hand raised. That's how it's got to be. And you're not going to win at the highest levels until you feel like it, you deserve to win all the time. Like you deserve to get paid all the time, right? Every week you work, every two weeks you feel like you should get paid, right? Or should you miss a week in there? Right? Is that okay? The boss kind of misses a week. So you don't have to miss winning. Don't feel like you shouldn't win all the time if you paid the price and you feel like you deserve it, right? Because you paid the price. That's why I like wrestling. 